What's up everybody, Sebastian here, and in this YouTube video, we are going to be doing 50 facts about me, alright? Before I get started, this is not going to be some mainstream bullshit video like all of these other people out there, okay? Like, when you, when you go and type 50 facts about me, um, they'll be like, my favorite drink, orange juice. My favorite food, french fries. My favorite dog breed, uh, golden retriever. No, this is not a video like this, okay? This is a video where you really get to know me to the freaking core of it all, okay? And um, I want you to view it as value. I'm giving value to you. I'm giving value to improve your life, okay? So it's like, it's not only you get to know me, but it's like, I help you with your life also, and through that, you'll get to know me, all right? Now, um, before I jump in, okay, if you're new to this channel, take your finger and click that subscribe button as I upload every single week. And another thing, what I want you to do is, if you want to see preview of how my notes for this video looks like, go ahead and follow me on Facebook. It's completely free, I charge you nothing, and um, I always post on there my new notes for the upcoming video so it's like you know you can kind of follow me on facebook and it's like you'll get in contact with me easy like i send you the video um faster than others see it okay like you'll be you'll get notified to messenger okay so i wrote them all down here fact Number one, I follow my own path rather what society tells me to do, all right? Now, uh, this is an example of what happened to me. It was um, when I, I quit school in private school, okay? And from there, I went to online school, graduated online school, traveled to Berlin, became three times au pair in Italy, and, and I would have never been able to do that had I followed what society told me, okay? And the people who, um, from that school, okay, they're still in the school, and me, it's like, I have a free schedule doing what I love, okay? Fact number two. I travel to more destination than an American in one state, okay? So, in the USA, I've been to Boston, New York City, New Jersey, Six Flags Great Adventure, Tampa, so, and in Tampa, Bush Garden, Tampa Bay, Florida, Orlando, Nevada, Phoenix, Vegas, Utah, Grand Canyon, Yosemite Park, Bryce Canyon, San Francisco, Minnesota, and in Minnesota it was for an aviation camp, right? So, um, like in 2014, I did a really, really big trip with my family. We, we went and visited America to all of these amazing places and I freaking loved it, okay? I loved it, okay? And so it's like, with my family we went to all of those places, okay? Um, however, Minnesota, I went with my mother alone and it was for an aviation camp for a week to learn about aviation, okay? 
So I was at camp for one week and I saw everything in the aviation industry. Flew a glider, flew a, a Boeing simulator, a flew, a, saw the Delta hubs, met new friends there and flew a seminar. He allowed me to land even, he allowed me to fly in the air, um, went and visited on the military bases, etc, 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 okay? Um, so that was an amazing feeling. So then, in Europe, fact number three, I've traveled to Switzerland, ski in Nanda, okay, went skiing in Nanda, and basically my dad, like, we as a family, we own a house there, so we go skiing there, like, every winter, February, April, and sometimes the summer, we go and visit there, okay? And then I've traveled to Italy, Florence, Mirano, Aosta, Portugal, Porto, Lisbon, Luxembourg, I mean, I was in school in Luxembourg, France, Paris, Strasbourg, and in Belgium, Brussels, Liège, Leuven, Namur, and the Belgian coast. In the Belgian coast, we own a house there. And yeah, so that's like, <laughs> we had traveled there, okay. And Holland, Amsterdam, Germany, Berlin, Köln, England, Scotland. And in Scotland, I walked the West Highland Way, and that was a trip we did. I did an eighth grade, okay, with my class. So, which was pretty interesting, okay? Then, uh, my zodiac sign is Sagittarius, mutable fire, okay? Which, <laughs> I'm, I'm all over the place, okay? And I always switch up my mind, my commitments to nothing, you know? <laughs> like, you know, if you read more in the spirit, you understand that, okay? And then, um, Number fact number five, um, my Chinese zodiac sign is tiger, okay? What does the tiger represent? The tiger represents, um, it's a sign that doesn't like communicating with others and likes to be center of attention, okay? And likes giving commanding demands to others, okay? Um, then, my f fact number six, my favorite Chinese zodiac sign, dragon and pig, okay? Why the dragon? Because the dragon is very expressive, okay? And this expressiveness and directness helps me, in a way, like, to connect, okay? It's like, I feel like a dragon is a good friend, you understand? good friend, you know. Pig, okay, is more like a loving, f loving, like for romance, okay, because the pig is really loving and I feel a pig really, really cares about my feelings, okay. And just, it's great, okay, and, and like around the pig, I feel um, like I can share my deeper issues with, you understand. If you don't know about ch Chinese strategy, check it out, link in the description, okay? Like that, you don't get confused, okay? Now, fact number seven. Favorite zodiac sign from each element, okay? From the air category, my favorite is Aquarius. The reason why it's Aquarius is because I freaking love how much the Aquarius talks. I love their uniqueness, their weirdness, their sense of humor. They're just different from the crowd and I love it and it makes me so hyped. Only when I talk to the Aquarius, they make me so, so hyped, okay? And I actually have like a few Aquarius friends and I love them so much, okay. Um, so then, my favorite fire sign is Aries, 
okay? And the reason for that is because, like, with an Aries, I feel like, like, they're, like, leading me. Like, they, they push me to take action. They, they're, like, I feel very great energy with an Aries. Like, they, they brighten my energy off, you know? And I love their hype nature. I love their... Even when they insult me, I like it, you know, it's just funny, you know, and just hypes my mood up, you know. Like, so all of you Aries friends out there, I love you, okay. Um, out of the water signs, okay, it's Pisces, okay. And the reason why it's Pisces, because like, but by nature, like, you know, I'm kind of like detached, okay. And the Pisces, like, when I, I post something on social media, like, for example, on Instagram, I said, I'm heartbroken. My sister, which is a Pisces, like, she cares so much about me, okay? Like, a Pisces, I feel I'm very, very comfortable to share my deepest secrets with. Okay, they don't judge me, they don't shame me, it's like... It makes you feel very, very nice. Okay. And the next is Taurus. Okay, from the Earth signs. I like Taurus the best. And the reason for that is because they they're just good friends. You know, it's like a Taurus. I like their steady nature. You know, nice and slow. And it it brings you down to earth. The Taurus. It brings me to gratitude, and the, the to I have like some toy friends. Like they they do so much for me, they do so much for me, and they when I want toys, it's like they make you feel stable and less worried, you know. So all you toy friends, take this one for me, okay? So the next. Fact number eight, I have over 600 hours of childcare experience and other find I have a very, very special connection with kids, okay? So, yeah, I babysit it a lot in my life, okay? Um, when, I, always when I went on the Belgian coast, my dad's piano teacher would come with us and he had kids and I'd, I'd always do so much with that child, okay? Back then he was five and from five and now he's ten, okay? It's like I'd always be with him and I just loved being with kids, you know? Um, and then <laughs> and from there, fact number nine, okay? I've been in au pair three times in Italy in 2018, okay? Um, so the first family was for four years old in Aosta. And the second family was for seven years old in Miran, okay? So those experiences were like, the first time I went was um, four months. The second time was for 10 days in the same family, because they invited me, and I really enjoyed being with a child. And the other time was in Miran, okay? And I just loved it. And I'm gonna give you a tip, guys, okay? In order for you to connect with kids, you need to place yourself in their shoes, okay? If you do not place yourself in their shoes, you won't connect with them, okay? They only connect to you playing with them. If you don't play with them, they'll feel like, oh, Sebastian isn't giving me the attention I want, okay? So I'll do more details in another video for that, okay? So, fact number 10. 
I've done circus school for five years and have performed in big crowds. Fact number 11. I love dancing and becoming center stage at parties and weddings, okay? I'm very known for just being the first person that goes on a dance floor and and like really putting all of my moves out there and have people remember me. Like they, I, I get people in their, in their minds. Like I get people to remember me. Them adding me on Instagram, them adding me on Facebook, them taking selfies with me, um, them telling me how much they love my dancing, you know. And that, that's an amazing feeling, you know. <laughs> And as soon it's going to be car Carnival in Arlon, okay. And yeah, on Carnival, I'm going to dance so much. It'll be epic. And it's like when I dance, it makes me so happy. And I brighten the room. I brighten people's energy up. And every all the girls come to stop twerking on me, dance to others, you know. Everyone wants me to dance and just epic, you know. So it's like I do a video on that also on how to dance on a dance floor, okay? And becomes on the stage of how do I do it, okay? So, fact number 12. I have eight hours of glider experience. Fact number 13. I flew a glider solo. Check out videos on my channel for more details on that. Fact number 14. I love making YouTube videos. Why do I love making YouTube videos? Because I get to express my thoughts and myself to the world. We are alive for a reason. So why not express ourselves? Okay? If you do not express yourself, you're not sharing value to others. Like, if you have the opportunity, you have a camera to film, take out your camera or take out your phone, start making a video, okay? It's as easy as that. And you can make someone's day, okay? Like, if I have one person now, I consider that a success, okay? Um, fact number 15, my dream, what's my dream jobs, okay? Number one, airline pilot, okay? That's like my main job I'd want to do as a career, okay? For like, lots of years, okay? If I don't achieve to become an airline pilot, okay, it would be flight attendant because flight attendant gives you the ability to travel and serve food, okay? And I'd be very picky on choosing for what company I'd want to become a flight attendant. If I'd want to become a flight attendant, I don't want to uh, work for Ryanair or something. I would like to work for like Emirates, move to Dubai, work for Emirates because there they give long flights like Dubai, Thailand, Thailand, New York, instead of like uh, Ryanair, uh, Brussels, Berlin, and back, you know. So it's like for me, it's like very important to travel and like experience new cultures while I'm on my job. Like I need to move around, you know. Um, so um, my third dream job is like, you know, if it would be a job, for example, um, <laughs> A job where it's like, you know, like, you know, okay, a student job, you know, like just I work a few months there, a few months there, a few months there. It would be au pair. And the reason why it's au pair is because, you know, I love traveling and I love taking care of kids. Au pair gives you that, okay? So then, um, and also with the au pair, okay? For example, I'm very picky what family I choose, okay? Um, so, if you choose a family to become an au pair, okay, make it very clear. How many kids do you want to take care of, okay? Me, I'm, me it's, it has to be one child only, and that child has to be at least four years old, and it needs to be a boy, okay? That's my criteria, okay? Why not two children? Because imagine you go to the park, they run in separate directions, and you're like, fuck. 
I know some of my whole child and being a pair can get stressful, okay? You're responsible for the kids' well-being, okay? So, yeah, that's that, you know? And, um, <laughs> yeah, I won't tolerate two kids. I won't, and the kid's child needs to be a boy. Won't tolerate child that's a girl, okay? So, the next dream job is, like, on the side for my l long, j big job career, okay, you know, <laughs> is online business, okay, for example, like, YouTube, okay, I share lots of value and return of gratitude. I get clients who give me money in return, okay, so online business, I really love, okay, building a brand, okay. And also, like, so, and that also goes along with trading, okay, so trading is also something, like, to look into, like, to earn lots of money on the side, okay, like, you can earn money overnight in trading if you know yourself very, very well in that field, okay. So, fact number 16, I love skiing bike, and biking, I ski ever since I was five years old, and my dad taught me. Thanks, Daddy, for teaching me how to ski. Um, fact number 17. I'm an adrenaline junkie, and I've been on the biggest water coaster in the world, named the King Daka in Jackson, New Jersey. Six Flags Great Adventure. That wide, you need to go on that wide, okay? Um, so it accelerates from zero till 200 and 30 kilometers an hour in like three seconds, you go up a 100 dirty, dirty meters, and then you go back down, and then you do another 40 meters up and down. And that, that ride is amazing. Like, if you get a chance, go on it. And it was, that was a dream come true. Like, when I first went on it, and it was so amazing, coming from Belgium, going on this amazing ride. Like, it's, it was amazing, man. Yeah. That's it. Epic memories, <laughs> epic, epic memories, okay? So, uh, fact number 18, I'm a meditation nerd. Fact number 19, I'm a very, very good investigator, okay? I would investigate you to the core and catch if you're lying. Fact number 20, I'm so much inside my body that I've fallen in love with a girl Why right after conversation faster than others. So if I'm attracted to a girl, I fall directly in love with her. Directly. And it's it, the reason why I fall in love faster than other other guys, okay, is because my my default emotional state is I'm in love with myself. You understand? And because of that, it's just I I feel, since I'm so much in my body and I feel every single emotion inside me, it's like, I feel, like, so powerful when I'm talking to a girl. Like, I feel it immensely, okay? Immensely, okay? Fact number 21. I can't deal with a possessive partner. Fact number 22. In a relationship, I need my freedom slightly just like when I'm single, okay? So, if I get into a relationship, my partner needs to be all white. If I sleep with other girls, have sex with other girls, um, not always be, be with her every single day, okay? Like, she needs to be willing to give me all the freedom I need, slash I demand, and I give her that in return, okay? So if she <laughs> wants to do something with a guy, I won't mind, okay? And I, because I don't like possessiveness, okay? And like, I don't like just doing something one way, I need many ways to do one thing. It's like, I get very triggered when I see partners that have a possessive partner, okay? Fact 
fact number 23. I friend zone every single girl I start falling in love with. Okay, so it's like there's so many people nowadays. It's like once they fall in love, they directly get into a relationship. Okay, but me, okay, when I fall in love with a girl, I don't tell her. Okay, and I do like a secret investigation, okay, to see how she acts, you know, and mostly she will notice that I'm interested in her and she will ask, okay, if I'm attracted to her, but I'll still keep up my friend zone mask because I don't want to fall in love, okay, I don't want to catch hot feelings for that girl and then I get heartbroken, you understand, so that's that okay and a video will come soon on that like how to avoid the love at first sight how to avoid the love scam your brain tricks you okay into getting into relationship and stuff okay so fact number 24 sorry my emotions are either black or white. Okay, so it's like, yeah, my emotions are just black and white. I either want all or nothing, you understand? So it's like, I won't tolerate like, like fake people, middle service conversations, you know, it's like, I don't, I don't deal with that well, okay? If, if you want to connect with me, Get, be ready to get very, very deep with me and be ready for me to investigate you and get all your secrets out, okay? That's how I connect with you, okay? So, fact number 25, I'm very, very picky who I surround myself with. Fact number 26, I'd rather have one-on-one -on -one conversations than, you know, in a group of fake people. Fact number 27. Just because I don't see ya slash why you every single day doesn't mean I don't care about you. I'm detached by nature and only speak to ya Slash want to see her when I'm in a good mood as I do not want to burden my problems onto you, okay? So, yeah, it's, it's dealing with me. Uh, when I go through a hard time, I want to be left alone. I, I don't want to share what's going on with you because I'm scared what, like, I'm scared how you react to me because if you react to me in a negative way that'll put my mood even more down you understand and sometimes when i'm in a down mood i don't even understand my emotions so it's like i don't want other people to deal with my misunderstood emotions because like i function best when i go do it alone okay so fact number 28 i overthink the simplest freaking things which drive me insane and this is especially when it comes to girls for example when i start falling in love with a girl yet i don't tell her i start overthinking every single thing like why didn't she text me back um like always when i say something to that one person i'm always thinking about it oh shoot do they like me or not like i i, I overanalyze a lot of stuff like that and then sometimes my sister's like, oh, don't overthink, you're good. You know? And it's like, okay, I feel better then, you know. So that's that, okay. Fact number 29. I focus more on the bigger picture of life than the boring daily details no one cares about, okay. So it's like nowadays so many people are focusing on what's happening on the in the, around the world. Vegas attack, um, terrorist attack in New York City, terrorist attack in Berlin, terrorist attack in Spain, um, 
protesting Trump, like like so much, like so much people, so many people nowadays are like, like, like so mad of what's happening around the world with Trump and there's so much energy and stuff going out protesting and it's like me, it's like I do not give a fuck about it at all. Okay, all of the protesting around the world, I do not give a fuck. Okay, like protesting can get this one here, um, and it's like it just. I don't care about it at all, okay? Now, I know a lot of people will hate me for telling this, but I do not give a fuck about protesting. It's just a waste of time, waste of energy, and it's like, no matter what's happening around the world, it's like, I'm still alive here, having an amazing life. Why would I spend energy trying to change that one thing? Like, and people say, oh, if, if there's one more person at a protest, it will change the whole world, but it's like, no, I don't give a fuck. The world is a great, nice, beautiful, positive place by default, okay? Another thing where I focus on, like, which other people don't focus on is death, okay? So it's like, I'm living my life like it's my last day, you understand? Like, my emotions are like, already, I'm already 90 years old, and it's like, I'm living my life like if I'm being 90 years old, with regrets, but it's like, I still have a chance to live, you understand? So it's like, my emotions are aligned with death, okay? And like, I follow what my heart wants, okay? And when I live my life from the perspective of being dead, when I live my life from the perspective of having my last day on earth, then it, who cares about the protest? and terrorists. Who cares? Okay? So, what I recommend you to do is start viewing the bigger picture in life. Okay? Start appreciating the outside of the box thinking. Outside of social conditioning thinking. Okay? So, Fact dirty. I have lots of friends abroad which I connect to better than in my home country. Okay? And the reason for that is because for example when I went to Italy, okay, the friends that I met there were new. My emotional state in that country was a different energy than my emotional state in Luxembourg, you understand? My emotional state when I went to America was a different state than when I was in Belgium, which made me connect to that the two were better. You understand? It's like the grass is green on the other side nowadays, like in a society humans think that. So it's like I naturally like have very, very strong connections with um online friends and people who live abroad, okay? And yeah, it's just interesting, you know. <laughs> So, um, fact number 31, I drink zero to three beers a month and I hate drunk people. So nowadays, lots of people are going out on the weekends, drinking and, you know, and it's like, I'm just not into that stuff. I'm not into drinking alcohol, getting drunk and I can't attend away drunk people, okay? Fact number 32, I do not smoke. Now I know there's a lot of smokers nowadays, you know, like, and, you know, they like smoking because, like, it gives them this high, you know, like, yeah, let's smoke, you know, but for me it's like, I've never been interested in smoking because, like, for me, it's very important to keep a healthy diet, a healthy lungs, okay? Like, for me, it's very important to, like, be healthy and sportive, you know? Like, I don't want to be addicted to something that can kill me faster, you understand? Because um, there's statistics that smoking tobacco is one of the things that cause the most death in the world, okay? 
So, to all you who are smoking, try your best to quit. So, um, fact number 33, I have the fastest remote control car in the whole wide world called the Trax X01. If you do not believe me, check out on my channel, in other videos, you see it. Fact 34, I love lifting weights, like when I lift weights, I like, yeah, I like, I love like lifting weights and getting a lot of muscles and it just feels good, you know, like, and it releases a lot of adrenaline and dopamine in my brain, you know, and it's like, you know, lots of people like, they smoke to deal with the issues, you know, but me, it's like, I do it to work out, you know, sports and that's how I let my energy out, okay. Um, and I also really, really love cooking, so I know how to cook french fries, pizza, I also know how to cook like all different frozen foods, make very nice desserts, and basically when I cook it's like more like I don't follow a recipe, it's more I follow my own recipe, okay, and sometimes my own recipe turns out to be a better recipe from a given recipe book, you know. So it's like I already got lots of compliments on my stuff so when I cook cookies. People think like I bought it from the store, but in reality I didn't, you know. <laughs> so, um, fact number 35. I love remote control planes and the reason for that is because when I fly my remote control plane, the Easy Glider Pro, which is uh, Glider, which is 1 meter 80, it's like, it just gives me a sense of freedom and yeah, like, when you throw it and it's like, you do these looping, the aerobatic maneuvers and it's just great. I, I really, really love, I love remote control planes. It's a passion, okay? Um, so, um, fact number... 36. I'm atheist. I do not believe in Muslim, I do not believe in some spiritual god or some shit like that, okay? I'm, I'm atheist, okay? Because atheist, uh, since atheist is attached to I believe in no god, that allows me to create my own meaning for my own spiritual god, you understand? So it's like, just, you know, it's more like my life, my rules. I do it my way. Don't you follow what Sally tells me? I do it my way, my rules, my meaning of life. I create my thoughts of how I want to live in this world, etc. Okay, so atheist, okay? So, to all you out there, if you do not like going to church, like you're going to because you're in a specific religion, okay? Just remember, you can switch religions, okay? You can go from a uh, Christian to atheist and you then you don't have to go to church anymore or you can go from Christian you can still be Christian but you don't necessarily have to go to church if you're Muslim um, you 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 can also not you switch and go to another religion like you do not have to fire a specific religion I have a friend he's Muslim and I'm, I'm like with him I'm like what why the fuck are you drinking alcohol he says oh because it's a special exception. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell, man? So you wish them. Oh my gosh, this is such a hilarious video. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry if this is so long, but it's like, you know, I'm scrolling through my phone, and it's like sometimes my, my thing gets like, I don't probably push on top where my whole text like goes up, you know. And it's like I have to go and look for the next <laughs> thing, you know. The next. So, fact 37. Mainstream society bad news is useless and I never watch it. So, I never watch the bad news. Never. Never ever. And this is an advice for you. Never ever watch bad news. Because when you watch bad news, you're conditioning your brain to see the bad things in this world. How about the good news in this world? Like, I went outside today. I shot for food today. I did a push-up today. 
How about the good news? Stop seeing the good in people. Stop Stop being dragged down by society and the mainstream, you understand? Like, so all of bad news out there. This one here. Because society wants us to have a negative view of the world with all of these mainstream bullshit news, okay? And you're better than that, okay? You, you didn't come born, born on this planet to watch news, okay? Bad news and stuff. So look, we're looking at the good news, okay? So, um, fact number 38, I mostly surround myself around positive people. Fact 39, I'm a very sensitive person and if ever you betrayed me, such disrespected me, lied to me, I'll cut you out of my life like this here. Okay, and I distant myself and you won't hear from me for a while and I won't necessarily tell that I'm done with you, you notice it, okay. And if I forgive you, okay, once I'm healed, I'll come back to you, okay. Fact 40, I have a moon in Scorpio. If you don't know what that is, search on the internet. Fact 41. My favorite color is blue. Why do I love blue? Because blue is the color of peace and harmony. Blue is the color of water. Um, and psychologists say that blue represents like a loyal and trusting person. Okay, and it's like when when I put blue on, I feel a sense of energy. It's like like very calm. Okay, so um. Fact 42, whenever I send you gifts, long letters, long text, it means I don't need to send you a message every single day. When I send you that, it means you're mine for life and won't, and I won't leave, including to my host family. So for example, if, if I'm on Messenger, okay, and I send you a long message, and like just, and I talk a lot with you, okay, it's like, that means like I really love you, okay? And if I send you a gift, like that means like you you mean something to me, okay? It's in my in my way of showing love to you, okay? Um and it's like when I do that it's like it's like I don't want really want to communicate with you every single day because like you know it's like it's my actions that speak louder than words, okay? And including my host family, so it's like when I left my host family as an au pair, okay? I sent my host child, I gave my host child a gift and my host parents a gift and letter and it's like, it's a meaning that's like, I, I know we don't communicate every single day but it's like, you mean something to me, like, I your mind, I'll keep in my heart for life, okay? Fact number 43, I love editing videos. Fact 44, I remember every single detail, how you made me feel in the past, whether it is good or bad. So nowadays people, you know, they just go in the flow, like, oh, I forgot what about what that person told me, it wasn't so bad, you know, I know, you know. But me, it's like, I remember every single thing, even uh, childhood memories when I was like six years old, like I remember exactly how they made me feel in that situation, okay? I believe it or not, I remember it. Um, so, and like <laughs> because of my Scorpio moon, it's like my emotions are so deep, it's like I kind of like want to get to know someone really very deep, you know, and like I get into their thoughts, you know, it's like and yeah, okay, so Fact number 45 I'm known to give very good life advice Focus on the bigger picture 
of society, okay? So it's like out of social conditioning. Fact number 46. I was born to eat burgers and fries for breakfast even. If you go to America, you know, it's a cultural thing, like we eat burgers and fries for breakfast even. But here in Belgium, it's a weird thing. So it's like, although I live in Belgium, when I eat that, it's like, no problem, like, I, I love that food, even in the morning even. Like, I don't necessarily have to eat yogurt and cereal for breakfast, no. It's also burger, fries, or pizza, like, that's also the way, you know. For me, it's no problem, okay. And because here, in Belgium slash Luxembourg culture, it's like, what, you're eating fries for breakfast? It's so unnormal, you know, where for me, it's like, why? It's okay to eat that, you know. So, um, fact number 47. My favorite drink is orange juice, okay. I will drink like one or two liters a day, so be careful. Fact number 48. Sometimes I care too much. I care too much about you. I give too much. Sometimes I'm too generous. So, it's like, I'm learning to be like more selfish, you know, and please myself before others. Fact number 49, I love psychology and studying human nature, science, philosophy, and energetic healing. So it's like, I'm very, very interesting to, it's like, Knowing, like learning how the br our brain works, how human nature works, and um, how asking all life questions, like on philosophy, like every single question, like what happens when we die? Um, why do we need to be successful in this society? Why do we need to pay for this and this? Like, why, 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 okay? It's like, I ask a lot of questions on why. okay? For example, um, I also like studying different colors, the meanings of different colors, like red equals the color of action. Um, for example, red equals slash triggers hunger in our brain. Yellow makes us hungry, okay? So it's like, I love studying that, and it's like, you can even Google it, like, the meaning of colors. And if you're wondering why, why do fast food restaurants have <laughs> red and yellow markings, in real mind you might be thinking, oh, because it's just like that, you know, it's just the color, but in reality it's, it's psychologically, it's like, those colors make us hungry, and it's a marketing technique to get you to eat in that west one, okay? So, um, then, um, speaking further, like, like, I really love meditation, okay? It's like, um, doing subconscious releases, reprogramming our emotions, reprogramming our own reality, and just experiencing a change in us, like, I love it so much, okay? So, um, fact number 50, I know how to make all your worries disappear with these techniques, okay, so it's like, um, I have like special meditation where he says, it's for example like, you imagine you died, okay, and uh, firstly like your, your emotions aren't focus on your own mortality, okay? So it's like you just live by day by day, you know? But it's like, I have a meditation week where it's like, you imagine you died and you reflect back on your life and then you come back to life with that meditation and then you, your, your baseline changes and you start experience the world differently. It's very hard to explain why it is and yeah, so it's like, I have techniques like that, like, techniques that, meditation techniques where it's like, you, you sink into your body, and you release trauma from your, your childhood, um, your, sink into your core beliefs, 
and just getting to know yourself better, okay? And these releases can help you a lot, like, to enjoy yourself way more, okay? So, I'm gonna be doing more details in another video on some of those subjects which I talked about, okay? So, these were the 50 facts about me, okay? I hope you enjoyed my video, as conclusion, I hope you, you like, you got to know me better, and yeah, alright, so, feel free to drop a like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends if you enjoyed, and peace.